Hi, and welcome to markdnichols.com. Hey, I just want to take a few moments here to recap what we talked about last Sunday, but also to give you some encouragement as we're in the middle of this week. And I just want to ask you simply, think about this. What are you afraid of? What is your biggest fear? Uh, for some, maybe it's spiders. I know my wife can't stand spiders. I'm the official spider annihilator of our house. Um, but maybe some have got bigger fears than than spiders. Maybe maybe you're afraid of uh, what the future holds for you and your spouse. Maybe things in your marriage are not going well, and you're staying together for the sake of the kids for now, but you're really beginning to wonder if that's really enough. Uh, maybe some of you are afraid of your financial status. Money's tight. Uh, your job is uncertain. Whatever you're afraid of, God has made a promise to you to help you through that fear. And you know what his promise is? His promise is this. I'm with you. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I am always with you. Do not be afraid. And the reason that that is such an important promise from God is that his presence makes all the difference in the world. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 and 6 is what we studied this last week, and I just want to take a few moments to read those for you. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 and 6 says, Let your character be free from the love of money, being content with what you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. So that we confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What shall man do to me? You see, God's presence in your life helps with fear in two ways. First of all, God's presence brings uh, contentment. Uh, whatever situation you find yourself in, if you have God in your life, if you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then that's enough. That brings satisfaction. That brings contentment. And things may not always go the way you want them to go. Things may not turn out the way that you'd like them to turn out. You may not always um, see God working in the way that, that you'd expect Him to work. But that's okay, because the way that God is working in your life is enough. It brings contentment. The second promise of God's presence in our life is that God's presence brings security. It gives us the confidence to say, you know what? What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst thing that can happen in this life? That I die? Well, it's just as Paul says. For me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. For Christians, that's the way it is. We know we've got something so much better waiting for us on the other side of this life. And so whatever you may be going through, whatever you might be facing, whatever giant thing is pressing down upon you, I pray that you will find God's presence comforting, and peace giving. May you continue to be the light and the salt that he has called you to be to this lost world who so desperately needs his truth. Walk in grace, live in truth.